What's up, guys? I'm Alex. I'm Jason with the Table Monkeys, and we are here to talk about TUF, T-A-W-F, which is our team, Arm Wrestling Federation. Game-changing new way to showcase arm wrestling. This is team versus team action. Arm wrestling like it's never been seen. So each team has a cap of 11 pullers. They must have at least one puller in each class. The classes are for the men's, there's lightweight, middleweight, heavyweight, and super heavyweight. And then for the women's class, it's just one class where we're basically calling it like a middleweight class. Uh, it'll be, uh, the 170 will be the cutoff for that class. Um, they pull with both arms. And the way the game works is that there's eight rounds. Each round has eight matches. So at the beginning of the round, uh, we pick eight of the 10 possible options for classes for those eight matches. So round one might be heavyweight left, super heavyweight right, women's right, uh, lightweight right, middleweight left, so on and so forth until you've got eight matches picked. Then a two minute clock starts. In that two minutes, the teams pick their roster to pull those matches. Uh, so anybody on the team can pull up a class, but you can't pull down a class. Uh, and you don't know who the other team is picking while that two minutes is happening. You know who's on their team, but you don't know who they're picking. And then once the two minutes is up, the names go up on the scoreboard and we can now see who's gonna pull who. And you have 30 seconds for the first two pullers to get to the table and take a grip. All right, from there, it's a WAL uh, set grip. Once the competitors can't get a grip or that 30 seconds is up. So that's 30 seconds to get to the table and take a grip, which basically means that both competitors have to want to get a grip and then have to get there and get a grip within that time. So most matches are gonna go to a WAL set grip, right? Close your thumbs, close your hands, go. Yeah, and now this is where it gets very similar to the no elimination tournaments that we've been running, which is part of the reason why we've been running these is to start setting this up uh, so people can become familiar with this point system, uh, this setup, because when you apply it to this whole game concept, it becomes really interesting. So the point system is based off a win being five points. Now, a foul is worth one point. So if I win the match, but I get one foul, then I get four points. If I win the match, my opponent gets a foul, I get six points. Yeah, so the winner is the only one who accumulates or who gets points. Uh, and then, like Alex said, the fouls are what uh, vary the amount of points that are gonna be scored. Yeah, so um, I can get eight points if my opponent fouls out, and I can even win with three points if I win with two fouls. Yeah, and the point, the reason for this is to try to show dominance. So, uh, for example, when Devin tries to stop somebody and put them in a position where they wanna quit, in this system, if you quit, you're fouling out, that's giving your opponent a lot of points, uh, which in a team game is letting down a whole bunch of your teammates, right? Yeah. Uh, which is part of the whole point of this to create this uh, energy that where it's not just about you winning or losing on the table, it's about how you win or lose, uh, how dominant you can be, and how well you can help your team win, right? Yeah. Um, so the way that your team wins is obviously like any other game, who scores the most points at the end of the game. So as we said, there's eight rounds and the rounds are made up of eight matches. Uh, those matches are all picked at random. So although you know what the possibility, like who's possibly gonna have a match. You don't know how many super heavy right hand matches or women's left hand matches or any other variation, how many matches of those are gonna be. Uh, so this is where strategy and fatigue starts to play a factor, uh, which is what we're really hoping to uh, happen with presenting this team sport, which we think is gonna make watching uh, an arm wrestling event like this so much more interesting uh, than just watching a super match, especially for the non-arm wrestling. Exactly, and it also makes it so much more about the team and not an individual arm wrestler. Um, so the woman on your team or the 170 guy is just as important as, as the super heavyweight, heavyweight who may, like in the past, will have gotten way more attention as an arm wrestler. But in this system, everybody is equally as important. So it's it's much more about the team, like a like any other team sport. Yeah. Um, and it's just going to make it much more enjoyable to watch and to participate in. And also, uh, it actually brings back the kind of old school thing that people loved about arm wrestling, with like your John Brzezink days, where he would win like all the like he'd weigh in at 200 and win the 200 class, the heavyweight class, the super heavyweight class, the overalls. Uh, it allows for that kind of a puller to have an effect too you might have somebody who's a great 200 puller uh, and because of the styles they might be able to take on the 240 or I mean the heavyweight guy in the in on the other team uh, and that again creates all these different um, stylistic matchups and things that I think uh, the non-arm wrestler 
really likes to see, which is our main objective with this, is to present it to non-arm wrestlers in a way where they want to watch it. Exactly, and another way we're doing, we're presenting it to arm wrestlers, or to non-arm wrestlers, in a way that they will want to watch it, is making it free for, for viewing live stream on YouTube. So it's not gonna be behind a pay-per-view wall. Everybody's gonna be able to see this on YouTube for free. Now, in order to um, accomplish that, accomplish that, we're gonna be running ads yeah. throughout the uh, showcasing of this, of this match, um, but it's not gonna take away from the actual arm wrestling. It's actually another part of the concept that we're trying to present here and that we hope uh, people can see uh, the, the purpose of it is that the way that the game is structured, the ad time is structured into the game the same way that you would have it structured into basketball games or football games or baseball games is that there's already designated breaks throughout the game that have a designated amount of time and therefore we can just plop ad time into those spots where with the current model with super matches, you might have guys wait five minutes between the rounds because they're both catching their breath, but you don't cut to ads because they could come to the table at any minute and or you want to hear the banter between the, the two guys, even though again, for the non-arm wrestler, they don't really care too much about that part no. and that's really not really going to sell pay-per-views. Uh, so it's like hard to get, said, sorry, it's hard to get behind a guy that you just met, but it's easier to get behind a team. Yes, right? yes, that's the other part with the team aspect is uh, exactly that, is that we're not focusing so much on the star power of one puller as much as the camaraderie and the and the fandom that might come from following a certain team, right? Yeah. So with all that being said, anybody out there who would be interested in having some ads uh, showcased on this amazing new way to present arm wrestling, please get in contact with us. Uh, we will definitely be uh, reaching out to as many people as we can think of over the next few weeks to try to get as much of this ad time sold as possible. Uh, this is a new, a new way of trying to present arm wrestling. We're getting a lot of really good feedback already from it and uh, we're super excited to present this concept. Um, and that's the, the point of this video and moving up to that event is just going to be continuously trying to uh, get the idea across and promote it and get people to fall in love with it. Yeah, in the coming weeks we're going to announce teammates from each team. We can say already that the captains for the East are Blake Bouillon from the Durham Gators and from the West Tyler Bolzan from the Avora Arm Wrestling Club. Two great arm wrestlers already with a lot of clout in the community. We've already got some people confirmed, but we're not gonna announce that just yet. So make sure to stay tuned, make sure to smash the bell, like, comment, subscribe, all those things so you don't miss out on this new avenue for arm wrestling, which is gonna be absolutely epic. Monkeys out? Monkeys out. Peace.